Hi, Colette Salido with Life in the Panini Press. We're talking about things that are happening in real time. And right now, it feels like we're on this emotional roller coaster. It's been quite the challenge, quite the up and down. I think the lows have been bottoming out. Holy crap, how am I going to get through this? And, and yet there's these moments where things are... are are nice. It's nice to be home. It's nice to be able to cook a meal and not be pressured. It's not. It's nice to um, not have the pressure of having to get out the door somewhere. Um, there's a lot of great things that are happening. I think we're having more time to focus on us, get back to the basics. We're hanging things up on walls that we've been meaning to do for seven years. We're um, participating in activities at home that we've often thought about doing and just haven't had the opportunity to do and now we're being given this opportunity to do that on the other hand this bottoming out this the frustrations of um not knowing what the financial picture is going to be not knowing when um things may start to feel like they did before where income was not in question and food sources was not um being discussed and um, the, the health of family members wasn't in question. If you're a caregiver, you have an even heavier weight and responsibility to, um, to worry about. You're not just worrying about yourself, you're worrying about um, your family members as well, both the, the kids and maybe mom or dad or another sibling. You have a lot of things going on in, you know, in your life that you have to worry about. So it's really important to look at this whole situation and um, try not to let those bottoming out moments um, pull you down. Um, the, the way that somebody once described it to me and, and it really resonated was if you look at it like a radio station, you know, a radio signal, and you see life in this right here signal that, you know, the highs, you know, the time where we get to spend with the family, when we get to make something like, you know, bake muffins or um, cookies and um, go plant in your garden, you know, all those things that we love, all the flowers are in bloom and we can maybe get a nice conversation with friends on Zoom or um, you get a phone call from a friend and get to connect with them. Those highs are, are just so nice um, to experience, but coming down from them can be quite hard on us and we don't realize how much that that plays a part on the other hand um the lows if you can just see that radio signal dipping down and know that there's a moment when it's going to come back there will be a, a, a bounce back some days it takes a little longer but um but ultimately we do find that balance we do find that comeback so really important to remember that if you look at it that way, if you can look down on the situation, okay, I'm having a bad day, I'm having a bad moment, I'm having frustration, I wanna throw the computer, I wanna um, punch the wall, I wanna scream at the top of my lungs. If you can, and it doesn't hurt anything, let it out. But just know that, that there will be a point where things will bounce back up again. Um, and, you know, when you can't see that bounce back, when you're struggling with it, well, of course, there's, there's a few things you can do, you know. Um, I found a lot of people are taking control of the situation that they can. So, like we said, maybe it's cooking um, a meal and planning that meal out. Maybe it's um, art. I've really found a lot of art um, has been helping. In fact, today, you know, Mondays have been hard on the family and the kids especially. Um, they're struggling, too. And... Um, and my, I'm lucky that my child gets the choice of picking the activities that she's working on through the week and she can schedule her own time. It took a little bit, you know, it took a little while for us to get comfortable with that. But um, today, you know, she just wasn't feeling a lot of the other projects, but um, she had an art project assigned to her. So she made a sea turtle and she drew it. And, um, you know, there, there was, um, there were several steps involved and, um, and I'm just so so proud of her. I think it just turned out beautiful and colorful. And of course, we threw some glitter on because why not? You know, mommy's cleaning out the art closet. Sure, why not? But really, it was um, it was a nice activity to um, start a Monday. 
you know, to do Mondays a little bit different. Um, we look forward to Mondays too, because usually that's our movie night or it's night to do music. So we've been playing rock band, we've been singing, we've been dancing, um, all things we could have done all along. But for whatever reason, our lives were too busy. It was just about getting home, getting the food in, showering, getting on with your night and let's go back to bed and get ready for bed, you know? So it's nice to have that break. Um, but anyway, you know, taking control, that, that's, I got off on a tangent, sorry. We we're talking about taking control of something that makes you feel like you can accomplish things because otherwise right now the, there's this impossible mound that we're waiting to get over. And in the meantime, it feels very, um, very much like you, you don't have any power. So empowering yourself back to something that you can do, whether it's cooking a meal, um, creating something artistically, dancing around the, the house with some music, um, playing in the garden, digging in the dirt, so good for our souls, so good to be able to play in the garden. Um, maybe play some trivia. Um, Alexa has some great ones that you can play or, or there's lots of things you can do. Um, uh, you know, to dig out some trivia. Another thing we talk about is um, <laughs> is basically calming the F down. And when I say that, I mean, um, don't force it. Don't force things that are not um, working for you because you're only going to make things harder on yourself. And you just, we went through it. I've done it. My daughter's already gone through one of those. Um, you know, there's just a moment where like Friday, I missed it. I missed both of my daughters had meetings and somehow, even though I got um, emails to remind me of that, um, I still, I still managed to um, miss the meetings, even though I have these, you know, I have it on my calendar and okay, you know, reminding them, you got to get up ready for your meeting, still managed to miss both of them. And after the second one, man, I felt so bad. My daughter really wanted to see her classmates and I blew it. And I just broke down. I was in tears, but, um, you know, I had to let it out, but it really wasn't about missing the meeting. It was just, you know, a defeating moment where I couldn't get the basic thing of putting something on the calendar down and making it work. Um, so I, I think it's all perspective that calm the F down. It, it's just a meeting. We will get over this. Um, come back to it. Walk away if you can. You know, I walked away. Thank goodness I ran away from Friday. Um, but I, I put some expectations back that on Monday, pity party was over. It's time to get back to work. And I, I kind of had to force myself to hit the record button, but it is helpful to have those bite-sized pieces that you're going to come back to and you will do it, just not at that moment. Um, the other thing is, you know, when you find yourself hitting that panic button, um, I, I felt like when you hit the bottom, you know, you're, you're hitting that dip. Sometimes that dip can be really hard. And I think the thing is, um, there's the defining moment of how you're going to get through it. Um, you can wallow in your, your tears. You can go curl up. You can go to sleep. You could eat. You could drink. You could um, dive into something that's probably not the best thing for you as long as you're not gonna to continue to do it on the daily. But um, there's that moment where you're gonna to have to figure something out, right? So what do you do? Well, you know, for some people it might be meditation, um, going online looking for something. Um, I like um, uh, meditation for women. There's a nice one that um, they're short to the point and can get you maybe out of a funk. Uh, but phoning a friend, calling a friend is probably one of my favorite things to do because you don't have to um, be a hundred percent, you know, Hey, I'm so happy to talk to you. It could really be that, you know, I'm having a crappy day. How's your day? Give me some good news. Tell me a joke. Tell me what's going on in your world. Um, but you find that just, you know, everyone's commiserating about the same problem. So maybe just a phone call can get you uh, a little breath. Um, go for a walk. If you can, maybe even inside the house, if it's rainy last week, we even had rain to go along with it. Um, so just being able to take a walk, um, put a video on, um, that you can, um, enjoy a walk to on the beach. You know, there's some, there's gotta be a way you can get out of your head. Um, but the, 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 def, 
definitely the big thing is taking a breather. And if you're a caregiver, if you're sandwiched in between and, and feeling that panini press kicking in, um, you know, maybe mom's upset because she doesn't understand why you're not visiting her. And on the other hand, the kids are upset why they can't go and see grandma or they can't go out and be there with their friends. And, and you've just said it enough. They get it. They should get it, but they don't. Um, you know, best thing to do is, um, is take those breathers. Uh, I think I'll show you guys how to do one of the breathe, the breathe boxes that um, uh, somebody had recommended, and I think that it works really well. It's something to, to give yourself to calm down um, when you need it. So um, I encourage you to phone a friend, find some outlets, find ways to take control of the situation so it feels like you're accomplishing something. Um, do some bite-sized pieces. Don't, don't make this task list um, impossible. Don't try and take on learning a new language. If it's not, you know, in you to create something so new or do something so different, it doesn't have to be so complicated. Um, just know that there will be a point when that music will come back around again to a high note and, um, and hopefully uh, later that day or the next day will be a better day. So I encourage you to um, try and ride out those roller coasters with some good music. Um, CRW Network, we just posted a couple of, um, of uh, playlists of some feel-good music, so if you like it, um, you can follow along. I like the collaboration stuff where there's all these um, amazing artists performing together, so there's a couple of those on there, and, um, and hopefully you'll find a way to get through those uh, radio frequencies that are um, the real highs and the real lows to get you right back on track again. This is Colette Morito with Life in the Panini Press.